Hi everyone, Tanya Tiesen here and today I'm gonna show you how I achieve 6 pizza dough at home. You will find a list of ingredients down below in the description box and I'm gonna start with 2 cups of water and I'm just gonna put them in the kettle just to make sure that it's a little bit um, warm and in the meantime I'm gonna get ready the yeast to make sure that um, it's gonna react. So basically you need the yeast to react with the warm water and a little bit of sugar just to make sure that your um, dough is actually gonna rise. And so you really want the water to be warm and not boiling because or else it will just kill all the yeast and it won't react. And now you're gonna leave the yeast to activate itself for about 8 minutes and in the meantime you're gonna take your flour and just add uh, cups by cups to both of your two bowls or if you have only one big bowl you can add it all to one bowl and make sure to make a hole in the middle of the flour then just add a pinch of salt just to uh, regulate the taste with the flour and the yeast and all the sugar that we already added then in the meantime get your olive oil ready now you can add the water and yeast mix to your flour and then I um, suggest using a wooden spoon just to start mixing. And so personally what I do is because I have two small bowls, I just add more flour as I go and I'm gonna also add my olive oil into the mix. Once the dough is less sticky, I'm just gonna put it on my uh, board simply and I'm gonna start um, doing it with my hands now. Once I have a nice dough ball, I'm simply going to add some olive oil to one of my bowls and I'm going to put the dough ball inside of it for allowing it to rest and it's going to raise for about an hour and one little trick that I have is actually to uh, put your oven on the lowest heat possible and just to make it um, to put it inside of it so that it will grow and rise faster. Then I will be covering it with some plastic wrap and I'm gonna put also a wet damp uh, rag on top of it just to make sure it keeps its moisture but also it raises as fast as possible. And so now we are ready to simply start um, making the dough. So I'm just gonna just take out all the bubbles and the air 
that was inside of my uh, dough. And then I'm going to start by just cutting it in half and making sure that I put some away in my freezer because I can just simply freeze the dough and use it on another day. And so now I'm just going to do small balls that I'm just going to put into some plastic wrap and then into some Ziploc just to put them in my freezer. And so now for the pizzas of today, I'm going to cut uh, four different dough just to make sure simply that I do uh, four different pizzas. And so I'm going to start by extending my first dough and just making, making it as round as possible. Of course, it's homemade, so don't expect it to be like a full circle, whatever. I'm not a professional, so as long as it tastes good for me, it doesn't have to be as round as uh, a regular pizza shop it would be. And I will just show you two different types of pizza that I like to do on a regular basis. So first I will be using some pizza sauce, tomato sauce. Then I will be adding first my mozzarella cheese I really like a cheesy pizza so I'm gonna add another kind of a cheese that simply makes a natural cheese. And then for my pizza, I really like to have a lot of ingredients on it, so I'm gonna add some ground beef at first. Then I'm gonna add some caramelized onion with some caramelized uh, pepper with yellow uh, fresh pepper too. 
and my boyfriend is just gonna add his own um, addings, toppings. And they will go in the oven at about 500 Fahrenheit uh, for about 15 to 20 minutes or until it's golden brown. And so here is the final result. I hope you really enjoyed that uh, new kind of videos from my end. Uh, if you want more cooking videos, make sure to subscribe and also to comment what kind of recipe would you like to see on my channel in the comments down below. And I'll see you on the next video.